How is research addressing the relationship between exercise and Parkinson's disease? When I started my research, um, exercise and Parkinson's disease really wasn't on the radar at all. Um, people believed that people with Parkinson's disease shouldn't exercise, that exercise was something that was harmful to them. In fact, some of the leading neurologists of the time, um, when asked a question at a conference, responded that it was a waste of time. And I wish that at the time that those comments were made, I'd, had, I'd known what I'd known today, and I would have gotten up and said that that's not true. In the area of Parkinson's disease, there have been several revolutionary events that have happened over the last decade. And one of them is the explosion of research in the area of exercise. 10 years ago, there were only about 10 studies that even investigated the effects of exercise in people with Parkinson's disease. And now there are over 40 bigger, more well-designed studies. That research is certainly still emerging, but we, we hope and we really do think that, uh, that there is some protection afforded the nerve cells by participation in exercise. And even the animal literature shows that exercise might be affecting the actual brain. And we don't know what the story is in humans yet, how much the exercise really modifies the brain. And that's the next step in our, in our exercise research. But for now, there's no reason to wait because now we have this body of literature that shows exercise is important. I think the most promising research, I'm going to have to say, is um, trying to figure out what's happening in the brain in humans uh, using you know, brain imaging and trying to see what's happening under different exercise conditions. I think we really need to understand the mechanisms in the brain. But I think it's going to take a while for us to figure that out. So I think the most Actually, the most promising research in my mind is people who are trying to translate uh, the physiologic use of exercise to the level of the community, and they're trying to figure out how to do that in a very systematic way. Because I think we need to do it in a systematic way, you know, very metho methodological or methodical. So I think that's the most promising and exciting research, actually, looking at it from a macroscopic perspective. We don't have 10, 15 years to wait, so I think those are the things that we've learned, is that transitioning it to the community now, that's really the important thing.